So this question is a translate word problem question to start. Um, I also notice in my answer choices when I take a glance at it that everything here is variable form. So I'm probably going to use another strategy that I like to use whenever I see variables in the answer choices, and that is plug in your own number. Plug in your own number. So let's get started and see how all of this comes together. So the question says, the Downtown Business Association, DBA, in a certain city plans to increase its membership by a total of N businesses per year. Okay, so we have N and we want to increase by that much. I'll just say arrow up by N. There were B businesses in the DBA at the beginning of this year. So B was at the start of year. All right, and I'm already feeling like this is adding up, right? I see X here, I see Y here. Um, I'm going to just jump straight to this plug in your own number, right? So here's how this process works. I'm going to make up a number for uh, the variables that I've been given. So the DBA wants to increase its total membership by a total of N businesses per year. I'm going to just say N is 100, right? We want to increase the number of memberships by 100 businesses per year. And then the question also says there were B businesses in the DBA at the beginning of this year. Well, what would make sense? We're increasing by 100 per year. Let's just say we already have 1,000. And notice, you know, I'm using nice, whole, easy numbers to do math with. So let's say we already have B or 1,000 businesses at the beginning of the year, and we want to add 100 per year. The question then goes on to ask, which function best models the total number of businesses? Y, okay. So Y represents the total number of businesses, Y, the DBA plans to have as members X years, so X represents years, X years from now. So here's how the rest of this works. The total is something that I'm going to get by doing the math. So I'm not going to make up a number for the total, but I am going to make up a number for years. I'm going to say if I have 1,000 businesses to start out with and I'm increasing that number by 100 per year, what would happen two years from now, right? So basically I'm saying X is equal to two. What would I expect? What would you expect to happen two years from now? Well, you would expect that, well, I already had a thousand businesses and I'm going to add to that 100 per year, right? Which means I'm going to multiply that 100 by two, giving me 1000 plus 200. So I would expect two years from now to have 1200 businesses, which means Y should equal 1200 when n equals 100, b equals 1,000, and x equals 2, right? This is, this is the expectation, right? We made it real. We took it out of the realm of ambiguity, moved it away from all of these variables, and we made it into some real values. So how do I use that information? Well, I go to my answer choices, and I just say, okay, which answer choice gets what I, what I have here? By replacing n x and b so choice a says that y which i know i want to be 1200 equals n which i know for me was 100 times x which again for me was 2 plus b which again for me is 1000 and i see that on the first shot here i actually do end up with 1200 so 1,200 does equal 1,200, which means that choice A must be the correct answer. Now, if you weren't certain about that and that didn't feel right, you're not accustomed to using plug in your own number, you could definitely try the remaining answers here. You can pretty much see, though, that B cannot be correct because NX, again, for us, is 200. 200 minus 1,000 will not get you 1,200. And then C, you can definitely try that out. Um, let's just show it here briefly. So again, N, so B is uh, 1,000 parentheses, 100 to the second power. That is definitely not going to equal 1,200. So that's out. And then lastly, we have 100 times 1,000 to the second power. So even larger. So that's also definitely not 1,200. So choice A is the best answer. It's the correct answer here.